Good evening everyone. Welcome to Midweek Online. I strongly believe that even though we are physically apart as a church, dahil sa situation ngayon, um, I just still believe that we are connected and uh, we are united in one spirit. At dahil dyan, we can still worship the Lord together even na nandiyan tayo sa kanya-kanya natin tahanan. So let's welcome the Holy Spirit and let's worship.
po sa ating lahat. Tonight is our third online midweek service at patuloy nga na uh, walang makakahadlang sa atin upang tayo ay makapig makapagbigay ng kapurihan sa ating Panginoong Jesus. No, bagamat hindi tayo magkakasama physically but in spirit we are united. Amen. So before we proceed to the message, uh, uh, let us acknowledge the presence of our King first. No? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your presence, Lord God, sa gabing ito. Holy Spirit, we acknowledge your presence. Patuloy mo kaming puspusin ng iyong banal na presensya. Puspusin mo kami ng iyong banal na spirito, Ama. Salamat, Panginoon. Lord, uh, we declare, Lord God, uh, sa lahat, Panginoon, na makakarinig ng iyong salita, Panginoon, sa gabing ito. Lord, we declare anointing, Panginoon. Uh, hayaan mo, Panginoon, na mag-flow kami, Panginoon, sa kung anong gusto mong uh, marinig, Panginoon, ng bawat isa. And Lord, we declare and decree, decree Lord God, na patuloy ka namin makakasama, Panginoon, uh, sa gabing ito, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. So, uh, our message for tonight is uh, all about a kind reminder, no? a simple yet powerful reminder for all of us. Uh, especially po during uh, this time sa lahat po ng ating mga nararanasan sa, uh, sa panahong ito. No? Uh, and in my spirit, alam ko po na may matutunan ng bawat isa. Uh, and I pray and decree and declare no, na patuloy nating maipapamuhay at may apply sa ating buhay ang lahat ng maririnig natin ngayong gabi nito. Amen. So, uh, yung uh, reminder po para sa atin sa gabi nito, no, sa panahong ito, no, uh, we should always fight from victory, not for victory. Amen. So, as Christian, dapat po uh, ganito yung mindset natin, no? yung attitude natin towards our circumstances. Dapat nating tandaan na we are fighting from victory dahil tayo ay uh, uh, victorious. Amen. Let's talk about our current situations. No? How do we fight our battles? Paano ba tayo nakikipagbunuan sa mga problema natin, sa mga uh, uh, suliranin natin sa buhay? Paano ba natin hinahandle at paano ba tayo nakikipaglaban? No? Are we fighting from victory or are, are we fighting for victory? Ano ba yung difference ng dalawa? Sabi niya dito, if you are fighting for victory, you will find you will find yourself striving, feeling overwhelmed against impossible odds, and defeated. So, yung hindi ka pa uh, sigurado kung ano yung magiging resulta ng pakikipaglaban mo. No? May doubts, may fears, mixed emotions. No? Hindi mo alam, minsan feeling, gusto mo uh, magbabak out ka kasi feeling mo, alam mo sa sarili mo na matatalo ka. No? You are being consumed dun sa problema. Uh, isip ka ng isip ng paraan. Paano mo uh, malalabanan tong malalagpasan tong problema na to. You are uh, stressing yourself. No? You are always uh, thinking uh, kung paano mo ma mapagtatagumpayan tong mga bagay na to. Wala kang kasiguraduhan. Wala kang security. No? Ikaw yung gumagawa para sa sarili mo. No? Uh, that's what we call you are fighting for victory. But when you are fighting from victory, no, you have the confident assurance that God is in control. The battle is is in kapampangan po sorry. The battle is in His hands, and the victory had already been won. Amen. Meaning po, tapos na yung laban mo, no. Kung baga uh, nanalo ka na. So, parang for formality na lang tong kakaharapin mong laban. No? You are confident na si Lord yung makikipaglaban para sa iyo. You have faith that nothing is impossible sa Panginoon. Amen. Yung relax ka lang, a smooth lang yung 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 daan, no? You have the peace of mind and you know you are secured. No? You know that God is working working on your behalf. At naniniwala ka sa katotohanan na anuman ang 
pinagdadaanan mo at pagdadaanan mo ang Panginoon ay kasama mo. That is fighting from victory. Alam na alam mo sa sarili mo na ikaw ay matagumpay na at yun yung pinap- pinapamuhay mo, no? Hindi ka na wala ng doubts, no? You are surrendering uh, yourself, your situation sa Panginoon dahil alam mo na pagkasama natin ang Panginoon. Alam natin na tayo ay matagumpay na. Amen. And that's the mindset, no? ng isang Kristiyano. And this is a great reminder uh, sa atin, no, that the victory is already ours. From the beginning, we are fighting from victory. No? We are fighting from victory at ito yung dapat uh, malaman at mamaster natin lahat. Amen? Why and how? Because Jesus died and rose again so that we can live in His victory, taking it on as our identity. So, identity natin na tayo ay matagumpay na. Amen? Di, di ka pa pinapanganak, embedded na sa pagkatao mo na ikaw ay matagumpay na. The victory belongs to Jesus and His victory is ours. He took all the sin, all the diseases, all the traumas, no? all the abuse, and then rose from the grave to be seated, sabi niya sa Ephesians 1.21, far above any ruler or power and leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. Take note, sabi niya doon, but also in the world to come. Meaning, yung victory niya over Satan is our inheritance. No, Our position in, on his family is secured. No, Yung uh, pinamanahan niya tayo ng, ng victory. No? At walang makakanakaw sa atin, walang makakabago dun sa uh, katotohanan ngayon na tayo ay matagumpay na. Matagumpay na. Amen? Sa gitna ng pinagdadaanan natin, we can rest in His peace, reminding the enemy that has He has already been defeated. No? And this knowledge fills us with peace that crushes Satan under our feet. Sabi sa Romans 16.20. Amen? We should practice our dominion and one of the most powerful we possess, powerful weapon we possess, is the sound of our voice. No? The best thing we can do in a crisis uh, or disappointment is to praise God for who He is despite what is going on around you. No? Our greater weapon is praise and thanksgiving to the Lord. No? Yun yung pinaka uh, best weapon natin. At uh, we should we should sing praises, we should worship Him, no? thank Him sa kabila ng mga pinagdadaanan natin. Even if, sabi, na, sabi niya, even if uh, uh, pinagdadaanan ko to, I still praise you, I still want to praise you, Lord. At yun ang gusto ng Panginoon. Dahil through that uh, thanksgiving and praises, alam ng Panginoon, nararamdaman niya na tayo, uh, nagre-rely tayo, no? nag-depend tayo sa Kanya. Dahil alam natin, no? as a father, alam natin na gagawin uh, ng ating Ama ang lahat para tayo ay magtagumpay. Amen. And one of the best example na uh, in the Bible na nabasa ko is uh, makikita natin sa 2 Chronicles chapter 20. Ito yung story ni ni King Jehoshaphat, no? Sa scripture na to, God brought about an amazing uh, victory, no, for Judah. At matututunan natin dito how to find victory against overwhelming odds by looking for four responses, yung naging response ni, ni King Jehoshaphat dun sa battle na kakaharapin nila. Ano ba yung mga uh, responses na to na pwede nating i-apply sa ating mga buhay? No? Sabi niya dito, number one. Number one, resolve to trust God completely in prayer. So, una, mo, una daw natin gawin is trust God sa ating mga panalangin. No? Nung na-receive ni, nung na-receive ni King Jehoshaphat yung balita sa verse 1 and 2, 
that there are three armies, the Ammonites, Moabites, and the people of the Mount Seir, were coming to war against them, against his people, no? Mas malakas, mas marami, no? Mas malalaki compared sa kanila. And these armies had one goal, total destruction sa buong, sa lahat ng nasasakupan niya. Silang lahat, no? And it was a great uh, time to fear and panic all over the Judah and, and, and to King Josephat as well. No? But what happened is, King Jehoshaphat trusted the Lord completely in prayer. Ito yung unang ginawa niya. No? Basahin natin yung uh, verses 3 to 12. Sabi niya, And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. So Judah gathered together to ask help from the Lord and from all the cities of Judah they came to seek the Lord. So that's the first thing they did. You know? uh, they seek the Lord, they, they pray and they fast. No? Yun yung unang-unang ginawang hakbang ni King Jehoshaphat. Then Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem. In the house of the Lord, before the new court, ito yung prayer niya, sabi niya, O Lord God of our fathers, are you not God in heaven? And do you not rule over all the kingdoms of the nations? And in your hands, is there no power and might, so that no one is able to withstand you? Are you not our God who drove out the inhabitants of his land before you people Israel and gave it to the descendants of Abraham, your friend forever? No, pinapaala, pinapaalalahanan niya si Lord dun sa mga uh, promises niya. Verse 8, And they dwell in it and have built you in a sanctuary in it for your name, saying, If the disaster comes upon us, sword, judgment, pestilence, or famine, we will stand before this temple and in your presence, for your name is in the, this temple, and cry out to you in our affliction, and you will hear and save. And now, here are the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, whom you would not let Israel invade when they come out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from, from them and did not destroy them. Here they are, rewarding us by coming to throw us out for our possession, which you given us to inherit. Verse 12, O our God, will you not judge them? For he have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us, nor do we know what to do. But our eyes are upon you. Amen. He proclaimed prayer and fasting sa lahat ng nasasakupan niya. Amen. Ito yung naging response ni King Jehoshaphat. As he begins to seek uh, the living God, God does, does like what he promised sa uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4. Sabi niya doon, But from there you will seek the Lord your God, and you will find Him if you seek Him with all your heart and with all your soul. Now, in the middle of his praying and worship, King Jehoshaphat connects to the God, connects to God, no? In the middle of his fear and his worry, Jehoshaphat sets his heart to seek God and immediately connects to Him, no? He is reminded of the awesome power and might of our God, Lord, no? Yes, there's a great, uh, um, war no, na napaparating sa kanila. But he served the God who rules over the nations. Mas malaki, mas masabi niya, mas malaki yung Panginoon ko kaysa dito sa mga uh, armies na paparating. No? He served the God in whose hand is power and might. He serves the God whom no one is able to withstand. Kilala niya yung Panginoon na pinaglilingkuran niya. At alam niyang madideliver sila dito sa uh, sa mga paparating na armies na papatay sa kanila. Amen? At makikita natin dun sa prayer, dun sa prayer po ni, ni uh, King Jehoshaphat, no? Makikita natin yung dalawang importanteng ingredient ng prayer. Ano ba yung mga yun? Number one, there's a great faith in God's character. No? Sabi niya dun sa 
So isang power and might are in your hand and no one can withstand you. So there's a great faith in God's character. Kilala niya kung sino si, si Lord. Alam niya kung ano yung kapasidad ni Lord. No? Pinaniniwalaan niya na yung Panginoon niya is a powerful God. So there's a faith, a great faith dun sa character ni Lord. At importante po yun na, na alam natin na talagang yung pinaglilingkuran natin is mas pinaka-powerful. Amen? And number two, there's a great faith in God's promise. No? Sabi niya, are you not our God who drove, drove out the inhabitants of this land before you people Israel and gave it to the descendants of Abraham, your friends forever? Your friend forever? Amen? Pinangahawakan niya yung mga promises ni Lord, no? And like, as, uh, as, uh, katulad, no, ni King Jehoshaphat, we are Abraham's descendant, no? Descendants. And we can claim His promises anytime as well. No, hindi lang para sa mga, uh, uh, ta mga taong ito, pero lahat tayo. Kaya mahalaga po sa atin na every day, no, we read the Bible. Every day we read and meditate the Bible para yung mga promises na yon, no, uh, each time you face uh, problems, no, i-claim natin tong mga to. Amen. At pag pinaalalahanan natin ng Panginoon, talaga makikita mo na kikilos at kikilos ang Panginoon sa buhay natin. Amen. Sabi niya, kapatid, uh, sab sabi ng uh, salita ng Panginoon, no, uh, from there you will seek the Lord your God and you will find Him if you seek Him with all your heart and with all your soul. Yun ang gusto ng Panginoon. No, uh, seek, his, seek Him first, no. Alam niya kung ano yung pangangailangan natin. Basta pag inuna natin ng Panginoon, lahat ng bagay ibibigay niya sa atin. Hindi lang yung kailangan natin, kundi yung uh, sa mga susunod pa. No, minsan advance mag-isip si Lord. Amen? Prayer is the greatest weapon we have as God's children. No? It is the powerful key that gives us victory against every oppression. No? Napaka-powerful po ng prayer. And we all know that God is working. No? God is fighting for us whenever we call Him. No? Whenever we ask for His help. Whenever we seek no? His face. No? Pero minsan, uh, we are very conscious sa mga prayer natin, no? Uh, we are looking uh, on the outside, no? We are uh, conscious sa mga words natin, yung form ng prayer natin, yung, yung haba, kung kailangan ba uupo, kailangan ba naka, nakaluhod, kailangan ba nakapikit, o kailang ba na naka, nakadilat yung mata, no? But God is looking at the internal. No. God is looking dun sa faith, dun sa sincerity, dun sa honesty. No, he's looking in the internal. When he listens sa mga prayers natin, God is looking into your heart. No. And King Jehoshaphat is in the right place. Yung puso ni King Jehoshaphat nakita ng Panginoon, no. All he want, uh, dun sa, dun sa oras na yun, ay malagpasan nila itong mga uh, tatlong bansa na nagsanib para, para lang sila, no, against them, no? Sabi niya dito, sa verse 12, Oh, our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us, nor do we know what to do, but our eyes are on you. He was depending completely sa Panginoon. No? He confessed na, Lord, hindi namin kaya. Hindi ko kaya na, na uh, labanan itong mga armies na ito kung wala ka. Hindi namin kaya. 
Lord, kumilos ka. Alam namin na mas malaki ka. Mas malakas ka. Alam namin na paglalaban mo kami. No, dito sa mga, against dito sa mga armies na to. We are relying on you. We are surrendering all. No, lahat ng lakas namin. Lord, pinagkakatiwala namin sa itong battle na to. No? At same as with us po, masaya ang Panginoon kapag naririnig niya yun, no? na yung nagmumula sa atin. Yun yung witness ni Lord sa atin when we ask for His help. No? At kailanman, God will never fail us. No? Laging uh, open hands yung, yung Panginoon natin. No? Sabi nga, uh, dun sa kanta, a thousand times I failed, but still your mercy remains. No? Kailanman, hindi mababawasan yung pagmamahal ng Panginoon sa atin. Amen? Kapag nakita ng Panginoon yung puso natin, guaranteed, the Lord will fight for you. Guaranteed, the Lord will fight on your behalf. Amen. The second response of King Jehoshaphat is he received a specific word for the situation. No? Makikita natin yan dun sa verses 14 and 15. Sabi dito, Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jael, the son of Matania, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, in the midst of the, son of the assembly, And he said, Listen, all of you Judah and your inhabitants of Jerusalem, and you King Jehoshaphat, thus says the Lord to you, Do not be afraid nor, nor dismayed because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Amen. Prophet Jehaziel, no? under the anointing of God's uh, spirit, began to prophesy. No? Ang, sabi, ang sabi ng Lord sa'yo, huwag kang matakot. No? Because it is not your, your battle, but mine, sabi ng Panginoon kay Jehoshaphat. God has a specific word no? uh, for, for, for every challenges we face. No, sa lahat ng mga challenges natin, laging meron at merong uh, uh, salita na maririnig pang, no, sa Panginoon. Minsan, manggagaling yon through uh, song, through scripture, through prayer, through sermon. No, minsan, na, uh, parang feeling natin natatamaan tayo sa mga uh, uh, preaching ni Pastor. No? But, uh, hindi yun, sabi nga, hindi yun aksidente na marinig mo yung mga mensahe na yun. Yun ay nanggagaling sa Panginoon. Amen? Naririnig natin yan at alam natin galing sa Panginoon yung mga yan. No? And once we receive such a specific word from God, we should hold on to it and not give up till we see the, the victory is final. Amen? Actually, we should learn not only to to uh, to listen but especially yung obedience natin we should obey kung ano yung narinig natin no we should obey what's the holy spirit telling us to do yung instruction niya sa atin no because uh, uh, this specific words are the words that is guiding us no binibigyan niya tayo ng tamang direksyon kung ano ba yung gagawin natin yung instruction kung paano ba natin gagawin itong mga bagay na to no dapat maging sensitive po tayo at handa tayong makinig handa nating pakinggan yung mga uh, sasabihin ng Panginoon sasabihin ng banal na spirito sa atin no you are asking for his guidance you are asking for his protection at ibibigay ni Lord yung instruction sa iyo but you're not listening, you're not obeying. So, parang wala din, no? Dapat maging sensitive po tayo dun sa pakikinig sa salita, no? Sa bibigay na instruction sa atin ng Panginoon. At kapag narinig natin yon, we are ready to obey those instruction. Dahil those, maririnig natin yung mga instruction na yun clearly, no? Clearly. 
minsan uh, parang magtataka ka, ako po, hindi ako magsasawang i-testify to, no? Galing ako sa trabaho, pauwi ako ng bahay, nag-OT ako ng, ng APN, at pagkababa ko po dun sa tricycle, no? sabi, ng, sabi ng Lord, bumili ka ng sabon. At alam ko na marami akong stock sa bahay. But, but why? Bakit ako bibili ng sabon? Eh yung katapat po nung na daan is grocery store. So okay, bibili ako ng sabon. Alam niyo po kung ano nangyari? Pagkatawid ko, may truck na 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 uh, nawala ng preno at dun sa mismong pinagbabaan ko, dun po siya sumalpo. What will happen, no? Kung hindi ako nakinig. Kung hindi ako sumunod. What will happen? Kahit na alam ko marami akong sumunod. So, alam niyo po, pag uwi ko, nung naligo ko, yun yung ginamit ko, yung sabon na yun. So, kung bako-bako talaga ng sabon. Umiiyak ako kasi alam ko, ano, at nagpapasalamat ako, uh, na isa ako sa, uh, na, Nagpapasalamat ako sa Panginoon dahil uh, when you ask for His guidance, talagang ibibigay niya. When you ask for His protection, talagang yun ibibigay niya. At uh, importante po sa atin na uh, uh, pagkagising mo pa lang, you are declaring no, and uh, claiming the protection no, na ibibigay ng Panginoon sa iyo. Saan ka man magpunta, paglabas mo ng bahay niyo. No? At dito po, hindi lang tayo dapat nakikinig. We are obeying these instructions from the Lord. Amen. So receive the word, learn, and obey. Amen. So number three, na re, naging response po ni King Jehoshaphat, number three is, he realized the battle is the Lord's. Now, the battle, ang, ang battle na yun ay, ay sa Panginoon, hindi sa Kanya. Amen. At makikita natin yan sa verse 17. Sabi niya, you will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourself, position yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord is with you. Amen. This response to Jehoshaphat's prayer shows a beautiful aspect of God's nature. No, when God moves through you, He emphasizes your authority. When God moves for you, He emphasizes your sonship. No, and God told Joseph to stand still because He wanted to fight for Him. No, giving Joseph fat the position of a son who can rest on his father. Meron tayong isang ama na lalaban para sa atin. Ang gusto lang niya ay maging, uh, uh, magkaroon tayo ng peace of mind. Mag-relax ka lang dyan. Akong bahala para sa sa'yo. Amen. Now, stop monitoring things you left in God's hand. You don't need to hold it anymore. You've done your part. Now, let God done His part. Do His part. Amen. Once you decided to trust the Lord to surrender no lahat ng ng pagsubok na to sa Panginoon your job is done hanggang doon na lang Now hayaan mong gawin ng Panginoon yung trabaho niya because hindi natin kayang gawin ang trabaho ng Panginoon Amen Pag pinagkatiwala natin sa kanya hayaan mo siyang gawin niya yung 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 sa kanya no Sumunod ka lang dun sa flow na, na gusto ng Panginoon. Because once na pinakialaman natin, sabi niya dito, stop monitoring things you left, left in God's hand. You don't need to hold it anymore. You've done your part. Now, let God do His part. Dahil pag, pag once na pinakialaman natin yon dun papasok yung, yung doubt, yung fears, you know? dun ka papasok ng kaaway. No? At doon ka matatalo. So, hayaan mo. Sinurender mo sa Panginoon pagkatiwala mo sa Panginoon. Amen. 
in the middle of our battle, kapag sinabi ng Lord to stand still, sumunod tayo. No? Yun ang nag- dali niyo magbabihilate sa kaaway. Bakit? Doon siya na torture. Because he, uh, it reminds him of his defeat 2,000 years ago. No? Dapat ma-remind tayo na uh, tayo ay uh, uh, matagumpay na at i-remind natin ang kaaway na siya ay talunan. Matalo na siya 2,000 years ago. Amen. Hayaan natin ang Lord ang kumilos ang manguna sa buhay natin. Because in His presence, no, mararanasan natin yung shalom, yung completeness, no, yung contentment, yung satisfaction, yung happiness, yung, yung tunay na uh, satisfaction. No? He will not just sit in there and watch you to be defeated. No? Hindi, hindi ganun ang ating Panginoon. Hayaan mo na makialam ang Panginoon sa buhay mo. Amen. Because you are a child of God, you are born no, as overcomer. Amen. And the fourth and the last response na nakita natin sa uh, kay King Jehoshaphat is refle- he reflects on God's unfailing love. No? Makikita natin yan sa verses 18 to 21. Sabi niya, and Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem bowed before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. Then the Levites, uh, and then the Levites of the children of the Kohathites and of the children of the Korahites stood up to praise the Lord of Israel with voice loud and high. So they rose early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went out, Joseph had stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and your inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe his prophets, and you shall prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord, and who should praise the beauty of holiness, as they went out before the army and were saying, Praise the Lord, for his mercy endures forever. Amen. Jehoshaphat uh, pre- prepares his army according to what the Lord uh, instructed him to do. No, he appointed singers, musicians, no, to stand at the front lines of the armies, and then give uh, singing, give thanks to the Lord and praising the Lord, because uh, His uh, uh, mercy endures forever. No. Ang ginawa niyong frontliner is yung mga singers and musicians. Imagine po sa atin, we are facing COVID-19, tong virus na to. At yung gagawin ng gobyerno natin, ang gagawin niyong frontliner yung singers at saka yung musicians. Ano pong mangyayari sa atin? Diba? Lalong, lalong, lalong kakalat dahil wala yung social distancing, mag invite lang sila ng tao na makikinig sa kanila. Lalong kakalat yung... Uh, yung virus. Amen. Putting these people at the front line is a weak strategy. It's suicidal. It doesn't make any sense. Pero alam niyo po, it makes a perfect God sense. No? Jehoshaphat chose to partner with God's strategy. No? Minsan po talaga hindi natin maintindihan yung mga uh, kaparaanan ng Panginoon. No. Totoo naman sinabi niya that your ways are not my ways are not your ways, my thoughts are not your thoughts, my plans are higher than your plans. Amen. At minsan hindi natin maintindihan, pero kalaunan po makikita natin na yung kamay ng Panginoon na uh, ay kumikilos ng malakasan sa ating buhay. Amen. Yung akala natin, akala natin dead end na. Wala nang pag-asang manalo. Pero dun magaling ang Lord. Amen. Imagine, ang mga singers at mga musicians ang nasa harap, anong, anong alam nila sa pakikipag-laban, uh, pakikipag-war. Amen. Pero, pip, sinunod niya kung ano yung instruction ng Panginoon. At sa atin po, hindi lang po doktor, nurses, no, police ang mga frontliners, even us, 
all of us, no? By singing uh, to the Lord, thanking the Lord, no? Praising Him, no? Because His steadfast love endures forever, no? God is waiting for us to sing in the middle of our storms, giving thanks to Him, no? When we make our weapon a melody, heaven comes to fight for us, no? Thanksgiving positions our hearts to receive greater measures of breakthrough from God. No? Pag inunahan natin ng pasasalamat yung, yung sitwasyon na to, alam natin, minsan nakikita natin wala hope, pero pag inunahan natin ng pasasalamat, hindi lang dun sa inaasahan mo, uh, dinidesire mo uh, maging resulta, kundi may dadagdag at dadagdag pa ang Panginoon. Dahil nakita niya yung puso mo. Amen. And that's the key para makuha mo breakthrough mo. Dapat marunong ka magpasalamat, no? Sa bagay na kahit wala pa, nireceive mo na. Amen? That's the gesture of your faith, eh. And what happened dun sa naging uh, pagsunod ni King Jeho sa fat? Pag, pagpunta po nila dun sa pinakamataas na lugar, they are expecting to see uh, uh, this uh, people yung mga armies na nakalain doon sa battlefield. Pero alam niyo po kung nakita nila, they saw dead bodies. No? Thousands of dead men. Bakit? Kasi before pa sila makarating doon, nagpatayan na po yung mga kalaban nila. Amen? At sabi po sa Bible, no, no, ano yun? Not even one survivor. No, no one escaped. Lahat sila namatay. Nanalo po sila sa laban na hindi naman di sila pinagpawisan. Yung iba, nag, nag, uh, nagpa-practice ng archery. Hindi man nila nagamit yun. No? Hindi nagamit yung mga itak nila na ang tagal nilang hinahasa. Amen? And that's what will happen to us pag inalaw natin ang Panginoon no? to fight for our battles. Pag alam natin that we are fighting from victory. No? Dahil tayo ay matagumpay na. Amen. The key to victory is confessing that we have no power to face this battle alone because God delights to intervene on behalf of powerless people. No, i-confess natin sa Panginoon na, Lord, hindi namin kaya to nang wala ka. Amen. When Jesus said in His last two words, it is finished, He doesn't mean na tapos na yung uh, paghihirap niya. It means the mission He came to accomplish was already completed. No? He, he proclaimed it is finished. He declared victory over sin, death, hell, judgment. He announced the kingdom of God in, in all its power and beauty. God had won and Satan had lost. The curse was reversed. The victory was now available to those who believe in Him. Amen? You are not fighting this battle alone. You are not attempting to, to win the victory. The victory is already yours. And you should start acting like one, no? Learn how to live in the victory. Jesus is one for you. You are not fighting for victory. You are fighting from victory. Amen po. I hope po may natunan po tayo sa gabi nito. And I pray and declare na patuloy po natin uh, ipagkakatiwala sa Panginoon, no? Ang lahat ng laban natin sa buhay, no? Because, uh... He is always in control at kailanman, sabi nga sa pangako niya, hindi niya tayo iiwan, hindi niya tayo pababayaan. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pakikinig. Uh, we are all blessed. We are all, we are all protected by His blood. Salamat po. Good night.